Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is actually a replacement video because my original first video for the series uh, corrupted itself, which is, you know, really nice. Um, so, Devil's Third is the game that we're going to be playing here today. Now, until I started playing this, I knew very, very, very little about this game, but uh, my friend, Richard, who actually owns the Wii U Wii Users Club on Facebook, which I will link in the description of this playlist, which is a really good um, group to join on Facebook if you're into the Wii U scene, because it's very good, very helpful, really friendly. Um... He actually gave me this game. Now, I had actually heard about this game. But I didn't really know too much about it. Uh, I know it was produced by the same guy that made Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball. Can that really be considered a game? Maybe. And Ninja Gaiden. I also know that this game went through extreme development hell. For nearly eight years, it was originally meant to be a Xbox 360 exclusive game. And then it was moved to being a PC game, 360 game, and PlayStation 3 game, I believe. Uh, it went through three engine changes during development. And it also had the story and most of the gameplay completely revisited a few times. Set up by Valhalla Games. Uh, so it went through development hell. And it was kind of looked at as a little bit of a, of a, a jewel, a gem, um, by the Wii U hopeful at the time. <laughs> Unfortunately, those poor chaps uh, desperately waiting for a, for a good game were in for a little bit of a shock. It came out, it was buggy, it was broken, it was a mess. Now, that isn't necessarily due to the fact that the Wii U can't run the game. Um, this game was just so incredibly poorly optimized. Um, the Wii U is just trying to chew through this awful dodgy code. And my cats are really making a hell of a lot of noise in their letterbox. Milo! I didn't quite finish that, buddy. You really need to be digging. He's fucking digging, little bastard. Uh, right, anyway. So, yeah, it, it was just horribly unoptimized. Now, I've played the first three videos of this game. So, about an hour and a half, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's the thing. What's really painful about this is underneath all of the slurry there's a quality fun uh, if non-exceptional game under all of the jank it's very difficult to play because the frame rate is so abysmally poor it does make aiming and um, you know just controlling your main character in the outdoor environments especially is almost impossible it i mean this is the worst optimized game that i've seen since cyberpunk i think um you actually have a few sections where the wii u basically crashes for like two or three seconds and then the game catches up it's a fucking mess but having said that the story's awful in a good way the main character is awful in a good way and the gameplay is just cheesy delicious fun so let's get into it if you continue this operation save mission progress will be lost do you want to continue yeah i guess i'm gonna have to get us back to where we were ajax one approaching target range two kilometers they see us three hostiles with rpgs we can hit them from the other side of the world and they'll run around with 50 year old soviet weapons why do they even bother Hard to understand sitting in an air-conditioned trailer in Vegas. Target locked. Fire. Payload away.
shit. Where's the backup? Bothering you, Ivan? The prison's been on emergency power. Cut my playing time straight to hell. Blame that on the trouble topside. That's what I need your help with. I don't do prison riots. Well, it's a lot tougher than you think, but I think you like the reward. Do you know they call it Ivan the Terrible? How the hell did you get your hands on that? I like to keep you motivated, my friend. But I must warn you. Most of the prison guards are dead and the inmates are running wild through the cell blocks. I need you to get past them to get to the surface to meet me. Do you copy? Every asshole in this place knows I'm working for you. Might be a few minutes. Alright, so that leads us up nicely to the start of the game. So, we are Ivan. We are in prison apparently prison for terrorism and we've just got off the phone to the prez now uh we have just seen uh loads of satellites being destroyed and the world being plunged into darkness how that relates to us we're not sure but one thing that you can spot straight off the bat is even for um a seventh generation game it looks like shit. It really does. It, it, considering this is a Wii U exclusive, a lot of people uh, were quite interested to see how this turned out because this will give us a good look at what the Wii U could do. No. No. Not only does the game look like shit, it does not run very well. But the gameplay is pretty solid. Anyway, let's try and get to the top, shall we? Legendary prisoner in my ass. Those stories are bullshit, man. Bullshit! That dude don't look like bullshit to me. The fuck? I'm doing him myself. You're gonna do me? Come on, buddy. Let's see how well you do me. Ooh, yeah. The combat is fun. It really is. It's very fluid, actually, as you'd expect, coming from um, the developer that dreamt up Ninja Gaiden. However, the only problem with it is it's very repetitive. I mean, you know, this is it, really. But we do get some cool weapons and toys to play with along the way. There we go. Kick your ass, boy. Get fucked. <laughs> As you can see, you can really make a mess of the enemies. It's fun. Right. So we can guard and we have all kinds of uh, dodges and moves and shit that we can do. We can also pick up weapons. Is there weapons in this room? There's not. That's fine. Uh, the AI as well is non-existent. There is no AI. The enemies are thick as shit. We do have some context sensitive moves that we can make. As you can see. Ivan here, our boy Ivan, does not fuck around. There are collectibles, but uh, I haven't really found any. Oh god, hang on. Oh, we fucked that up. <laughs> I didn't fuck that up before, so... Okay, we actually lose. Uh, we can pull some cool moves, which can be fun. I found him. This way. Wait, wait. Oh. Ah! 
And no help for you, son. Who the fuck are you? I am Ivan. Pleasure to meet you. Right, so we have to obtain a melee weapon. Well, a little bit of something like that. Whoa, we just like chunked his head off. Yeah, this game is violent. Deliciously violent. Um, but unfortunately, like it doesn't even look as good as Ninja Gaiden on the original Xbox. On the OG Xbox. Got one more job. And that was 60 FPS. On a good day, this game runs at about 10. Sometimes it, you can count this game's frame rate in uh, frames per minute. But hey, the game itself is is good fun. I think, I'm not sure if I'd actually, oh nice, got a diary. I'm not sure if I'd actually play this game if I wasn't doing it for YouTube. Because it is unplayable really. They got the worst of them all down there. The uh -huh. out. God damn it, blow the basement and bury him alive. Mm -hmm. We're not a popular chap, are we? We're not a popular chap. Look at that guy's face. Jesus. Shit. Where's the love? There's the love, buddy. There's the love right there. Oh, shit. He's gonna bury us with him. Yes. What do you well, mean? let's get exploring. Hey guys, what's going on? How about I introduce you shoot to my pipe? Oh god, they're kicking on my ass all over the place. Uh, the dodge doesn't always appear to work. I don't know whether that's my controller. I don't think it is. I hope it isn't. There we go. Sometimes it works. I don't know. I think what it is, is the hitboxes for the enemies just... Well, I think the, the fucking game engine makes it up as it goes along, to be honest. But we do have regenerating health, which certainly alleviates some of the difficulty now my friend jimmy fails um he plays most of his games on the hardest difficulty and even he said because of the the awful performance of this game he had to turn the difficulty down and if you go to his channel will be in the description he plays pretty much all of his games on the hardest difficulty uh and he's actually quite good he thinks he isn't but he's actually quite good at these games uh, but even he had to throw in the towel on this game. Now, they're... Oh, God, yeah, bats. Apparently, bats strip the flesh from your bones. So, bear that in mind. But you can see, it doesn't take long to heal. And it takes even longer to... Uh, even less time to die than you'd imagine. Right, we're actually, like, fucked it. Oh, fuck. Right, I'm actually trying to aim at this guy, but the frame rate is just so low. It's really hard. I am a person that's especially um, sensitive to frame, rate, frame rates, I must admit. I do like a nice smooth 30. You know, I take 30. I don't, I don't necessarily demand 60. I'll take 30. But this doesn't even come close to 30. Right. And these bats, these bats are everywhere. I don't, I don't get the whole thing with bats. I'm not sure. You can kill them, but it's kind of pointless, really. All right, let's go. Come on, Ivan the Terrible. Crouch. Crouching also rarely works, in my experience. Now, I know this control pad works fine. I know it does. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any of you guys are getting out alive. Alright, so ZL was actually the trigger. Okay. Still getting used to the Wii U buttons. Oh, shit. Well, let's get dangerous, I suppose. Come on, pal. Give me that rifle of yours. Ooh, just chunked his ass. Can I have the rifle, please, dude? Thank you. Where's your rifle? Should be able to pick one up here, but I guess it's just like disappeared into the ether. Ah, that's fine. We'll get one eventually. The gunplay in this game. Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. The gunplay in this game is... Um, uh, shit. 
There we go, we've got a rifle. So, running around normally in third person is fine until you go to use your gun. And then you get this bullshit up. Which, yeah, it, oh god, it's not, it's not good, to be honest. It's really not good. The soundtrack's pretty badass from what I've heard so far. Enemies don't take many bullets to kill either, which is cool. But the gun mechanics are trash. But it's delicious trash, so, you know. Now, Nintendo had such little faith in this game when they actually published it in North America. They made less than 10,000 physical copies. And the rumor is it was actually significantly less than that. Okay, did we just... No, I thought we fell through the floor, but we didn't. I haven't seen anything like that in this game, I must be honest. I'm not falling for any flaws or anything. All right, there were collectibles in that room, I think. Right, what do we got? Hey, friend. Get fucked. But as I say, with all of its problems, there is just something fun about this game. Whatever. It really is. The other thing I don't like that really sucks... Who the hell is this guy? I'm Ivan. Pleased to meet you. Uh, is cover system. The cover system is automatic. And it works approximately 13% of the time. So that also leads to some uh, unfortunate times. Oh, nice. We're finding a lot more trophies. Which is cool. A machete. Fuck yeah, I'll have a machete. A bit better than a pipe. The melee kills in this game are brutal, but there's only really one for each enemy, uh, each weapon, which is unfortunate. Okay, here we go. First time we've seen the frame rate actually take a proper shit. You'll also notice that the enemies just spack around and glitch out and really don't do an awful lot of anything, which again is curious. Now, instead of admitting that this game was a steaming pile of dog shit. <laughs> I love the way they come apart. The developer basically blamed the reviewers saying that um, they didn't like the game because the multiplayer wasn't ready. Or s he heavily blamed the multiplayer. Even though you're just sitting here thinking, no, the game is shit because the game is shit. Really? I d I, maybe he never played it, you know? I don't know. It's, it's a very strange development cycle, but... Now, the game is shit, but it's delicious shit, if that makes sense. It's that kind of so awful that it's good kind of, uh, kind of shit going on here. And I'm not even that ba mad about it, you know? The only thing that I would change about this game is I would actually make it run at an acceptable frame rate. That's it. If this game actually could run on the Wii U, uh, it would be a lot better. And I genuinely think if they sorted the performance out, it would be a hidden gem. You really want me to throw a Molotov? You really want me to throw a Molotov, don't you? There we go. I threw a Molotov. Merry Christmas. Right, let's get the fuck out of this prison. Defeat your enemies in melee combat and receive flames of their souls. Gather these flames, bind them to you, strengthen your own with enough. Your senses will truly awaken. Yeah, basically you can build up a, a meter once you've killed enough people in melee. And you can then go Super Saiyan. The only trouble with going Super Saiyan is apart from the fact that you glow... I don't really know what it does. It doesn't seem to do anything at all. You still seem to take damage. You still have to hit enemies multiple times. I don't know. I, I, maybe it was. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's supposed to make you crazy more powerful, but it really doesn't. Okay. Now, every now and again, we do come across these boxes which allow us to refill all of our ammo which is really fucking nice because you do go through a lot of ammo in this game you know business is bullets and 
business is good or something. I don't know. Hey, we didn't even need to slide under that. We're billing by the bullet. Right, okay. Oh, the, the bosses so far have been rubbish. Oh, look at that. We actually watched all the enemies pop in. I don't think I'm going to be drowning in any amount of blood, boy. Least of all mine. There we go. I do like the way the enemies just stand there and watch you whilst you eviscerate their friends. There's no camaraderie around here. And I'm almost dead. There we go. Okay. We actually got stuck in the scenery there. <laughs> I could not get away from that bit of cover. I was literally stuck on the box. I've had that happen a couple of times. Right. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's get rid of these guys first. I mean, that, that motherfucker's not even looking at me. So this is a real good example right here of how hard it is to actually aim at the enemies because of the frame rate. It is not easy at all. Now, the thing is, there's no defending this game either. It's not like, you know, in my opinion, this game is bad. It's like, no, 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 no. This game is bad fact. But, as I said, that doesn't mean there isn't fun to be had. There absolutely is fun to be had. Look at that guy. He's, like, shooting me th through cover. You do get shot through walls. It doesn't happen super often, from what I've seen so far, but it does happen. Alright, not bad. Who's next? Oh, hey, guys. Well, welcome to the pain dome. There we go. Look at that. This is like a proper battle arena. I like it. Now, I'm pretty sure, like, the boss is meant to be up there and we're supposed to be shooting him. So I'm not sure why he hasn't spawned yet unless you have to cut through about a thousand of his grunts first. Yeah, the, the, the actual boss should be here. And maybe we haven't got to that part yet. There we go. That's what's going on. There he is. You know what happens when you poke your head up? Die, motherfucker! Die, motherfucker, die. Die, motherfucker, die. Come on, bring it on, you bastard. <laughs> I love it. There's like two different models of enemy. That's it. Right, let's go to work. You know you're in a boss area because there's like unlimited ammo right behind us. Is that so, buddy? Is that so? But you can just see how bad the visuals are. They're terrible. Absolutely terrible. It, you know, I've seen better looking PlayStation 2 games. Kill them! I think you're the one that's being killed, my friend. <laughs> What's this guy even doing? It's like an actual dude, bro. Yeah, and you can see he's already repeating the same lines, and I think he's only said about two different lines. <laughs> It's so good, the way enemies just chunk into pieces. It's so good, man. There we go. I don't know what the fuck he's shooting at, but we need more ammo. Uh-huh, cool story, bro. Come down, stop being such a pussy, man. I know you're a dude, bro, but Jesus. You know he plays Gears of War in his spare time. There we go. And that's the first boss. Pathetic. I'm still alive, asshole. Big mistake. I agree. <laughs> I love that. Died with a load in his pants. Pathetic. Nice ride. Yeah, I found a vehicle that wasn't affected by the EMP in a museum back in the States. This one's a pre-electronic relic, like me. 
That's what you want me to deal with? I'm supposed to fix the stars. That's one way of looking at it. This involves some of your old pals, Ivan. Big Mouse. Jane Doe, Saha, Ludmila. C4. I'll fill you in on the way. Way to where? Uh, looks like uh, we've got a direct contact line with the old president. Hmm. How so? An ex terrorist. Making a deal directly with the president. Hmm. Something's not quite out in the light, is it? Keep yourself protected by hiding in cover. Yeah, when it works. Also, you'll notice all of the cinematics, or maybe you won't, actually. All of the cinematics in this game are like watching a 360p YouTube video. Similar sort of quality. One third of the military satellites in orbit are decommissioned Soviet hardware. A good number were nuclear powered. Somehow, self-destruct codes for several of these satellites were obtained, and on November 1st, the codes were deployed. The cascading explosions created a heavy field of space debris, a phenomenon known as the Kessler syndrome. The resulting electromagnetic pulse also destroyed most of the electronic devices on the planet. Aircraft fell from the sky, passenger trains collided. Global defense and communication networks, emergency response, power grids, financial markets, all down. Several governments have already fallen, and America has declared martial law. This attack was launched by veterans of the Soviet Special Ops Unit known as the School of Democracy, or SOD. Your former comrades, Ivan, now sworn enemies of the Russian state. On November 4th, the SOD wiped out Panama's natural security forces. They are now in combat with our 7th group, who are deployed as reinforcements. We believe the enemy's goal is to paralyze worldwide maritime traffic by destroying the new Panama Canal. To complicate things, the SOD has apparently added biological weapons to its arsenal. And Ivan, you must use any and all methods at your disposal to neutralize the SOD. Biological weapons, eh? Major Maynard of Air Force Special Operations Command. I'm your recon officer. Go ahead and get checked out on the gear. A description of the items will appear in your glasses. Not sure if the uh, tracking bullets will work. The EMP appears to have taken out the GPS data links and the broad range radar systems. We'll have to navigate by the stars, just like World War II. Delta will be joining our mission in Panama. Have you met their captain? Ivan, right? Well, our team names are classified, so you can call me Bob. No offense, but I've got a job to do. And that doesn't include babysitting you and your cowboys. What the hell's your problem? <laughs> this face. Your job is to snip out the enemy so the hunters can bag the prey. If our little hound dog goes off mission, he gets put down. Gentlemen, we've just entered Panamanian airspace. Gear up. Difficult to look tough when you're wearing a cute little scarf. Probably packed by his mom. Sandfire, port side aft. It's a club K. Releasing countermeasures. We'll have to board if this keeps up. You can steady out the aircraft, we can make it down in our extra suits. They'll blow you out of the sky. 
Stella, get these boys to a safe LZ. I'm off the leash. What the hell? Ivan! <laughs> Ivan's no fucks given. Feet first. Strain to hell. Oh, the graphics. I know graphics don't matter, but Jesus Christ. Give us something. It's like a Steam green light game. civilians big mouse this is your work down big mouse well we know that stuff uh, keeps you safe from poisons Right, anyway, that's going to have to do it for now. So the entire planet seems to have been EMP'd back to the Stone Age by some pals of ours. Um, interesting stuff. You know, the story itself, I don't mind. It's kind of an interesting kind of spin. It's something that, yes, has been done before. But, you know, it's it not overly common. It's not like, oh, virus, more zombies, blah, blah, blah. Um, so there is that. The main character certainly could use some more personality. Um, the Green Berets that we're working with, Bob, I believe he called himself, is, I mean, his just face, he just looks ridiculous, just looks stupid. Especially that cute little, um, uh, scarf thing that he's wearing, you know. I, I swear his mum packed that for him. This game... Well, it's something, and I guess we're going to go through it, and we're going to get some enjoyment out of it. As I said, the game itself is fun. It just doesn't run very well, you know? And the fact this game was never fixed is is pretty uh, unforgivable as well. I'm, I'm sure they could have optimized it. The Wii U was never a powerful system. Even when it came out of the gate, it was, you know, from a hardware standpoint, it was always fairly pathetic. But I I don't think that the, the Wii U is actually holding us back here. I just think it's just awful optimization. But um, anyway, when we come back, we are going to eliminate the sod forces. Ah, oh, the name as well. The name. Ah, oh, it's just oh, sons of democracy. Oh, it's, just, it's so bad. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're going to enjoy this game with me. Till next time.